everyone, this is Dr. Balgwin, your proud superintendent of schools, and I would like to welcome you to Voices of Volusia. Today, our very, very special guest that we have with us is Mr. Greg Schwartz. And all of you, I think you know Mr. Greg Schwartz, especially if you're part of the Extended Day program. Thank you for being on with us. Well, thank, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So can you tell us a little bit, because in Volusia County, we have the Before the Bell, we have the Extended Day Enrichment Programs, right, in our mm -hmm. schools. Yes, can you tell us a little bit about the Before the Bell and the Extended Day Program? And by the way, I just have to let you know that you and your team, you guys have been doing a fantastic job. Well, so thank, thank you. you so very much. It takes a team, and you know that. Yeah, So we have a very absolutely. strong team. But uh, we offer an extended day morning program at 10 middle schools throughout the district mm -hmm. and 13 elementary schools. That's just for the morning. Our middle schools go from, they rise from 6.30 to 9 a.m., mm -hmm. and then they're released to um, breakfast. Mm -hmm. And our elementary go from 6.30 to 7.30, and then they're released to breakfast and to their regular day. So tell us a little bit, Mr. Schwartz, when it comes to the Before the Bell program, mm -hmm. since it's in 10 middle school, right, and 13 elementary, where can a parent access the list? If they visit our Volusia County Schools website and look and search for Extended Day under the search tab, mm -hmm. that page opens up all that information okay with including registration information details pricing everything you need is in that one spot okay so tell us a little bit about what can be expected in the before the bell program and in the extended day enrichment program and i call an extended day enrichment programs because guess what your child if your child is part of that extended day enrichment program they're being enriched right so, but I will let you right. speak a little bit about that. So in our, in our morning programs, the middle schoolers come in, you know, they come in for a range of times, but they normally have an activity, they have homework time, and, and if we have multiple, if we have a larger site, then they split the students, they're allowed to go down to the gym for some extra enrichment there, but they do have time to get their homework done in those pieces. In the after school program with our elementary uh, folks, which are 40 schools after school, mm -hmm. uh, you have not only your academic, you have your homework time, but you also have enrichment. So we offer three different enrichment mm -hmm. programs. Mm -hmm. uh, one is our reflex math, which is um, just practice math facts mm -hmm. and that on level. And it's engaging, right? Yes, it is. It's a very engaging program. Correct. And mm -hmm. then we also purchased this year through a grant through the district, we purchased a vocabulary A to Z. So what our students are doing is they're practicing their vocabulary words that they're working on in the classroom during that week during extended daytime. Mm -hmm. So it's giving them more in-depth practice with those words to get familiar with the words that they're using in the classroom. Yeah. And then the third piece that we purchased this year was a Generation Genius, it's a science, pro science program, uh -huh. and it focuses on the science standards and has fun experiments and videos and different pieces that our students use throughout the week as well to, you know, to really get a grasp of the standards. So you, your child not only has an opportunity to complete his or her homework, mm -hmm. but also we have enrichment programs that are engaging, right? Yeah. And they're, they're standard align and a support what's taking 100%. place in the classroom for reading, for math, and for science. Yes. I know that your team also, you and your team, mm -hmm. you have designed a um, reward in program that, right. that's attached to learning so that it's it, for students that are extrinsically motivated, there is something there as well where right. they're being celebrated, right? Recognized mm -hmm. and celebrated. Tell us a little bit about that. So each school was able to purchase items for, um, reward, for a reward system. And so as the students not only achieve levels, but some, some students, each student's a little bit different. So, you know, you, you have to take it for that. So if students are actively engaged in the program, mm -hmm. they're earning points for being engaged in the program. Mm -hmm. If students are excelling through the program, they're earning points for that. And they can earn tangible items okay. um, that the school offers. Such as? Such as like little knickknacks and... and um, the treasure box. The treasure box stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, those kid, that kids love, especially those elementary level students. They love working for a treasure box. I love it. And again, I have to say this again to you. <laughs> this year, absolutely probably one of the best years, and I've been here as a deputy and now as, as superintendent, probably one of the best years with the EDP program that I have been able to witness firsthand. And again, it goes right. to leadership on your entire team. Yeah. You know, it, it just a fabulous team, and we're so grateful yeah. that we have those 250 employees that have decided to continue to make an impact when it comes to our children in our community, and they're they actively doing so. 
How did they sign up for the programs and especially for the fall? If they visit our website, the Extended Day page on Evolution County Schools website, it explains all of that information. There's a nice parent guide there, 21 step <laughs> process on how you register, and it's really a step by step guide okay. and it makes it very easy okay. but all of our other students current students can register right now and and they'll get on a pending list and then we're accepting as as so we go. it's open right now it's open right now okay so go to our Volusia County Schools extended day okay site and there is 21 steps but I'm pretty sure yeah, it's, a, it's an easy guide to follow it's okay. a, there's there's a registration tab for 23 24 mm -hmm. and just click on that and all of your information's on that page how, how would the parent know that they've been accepted They'll get an email once they're in pending, and then they'll get an email once they're accepted. Okay. And my information's on that page, so they can email me directly or call me, and I'll be happy to talk to them. I love it. I will also share with you that we're pretty lucky here in Volusia County to have such an expansive EDEP program because I will tell you that most districts, they might be something at a particular school or a cluster of schools, right. but to have this many schools, and so, therefore, it, as you know, it's really accommodating to our parents that have maybe a more extensive schedule mm -hmm. where you don't have to be by a certain time to pick up your child, but you right. have until, is it 5.30? 5.45. 5.45. So mm -hmm. we've gone a little bit, 15 minutes more. Yeah. 5.45 to pick up your child. So, again, let's go back to logistics for the before the bell, right? That mm -hmm. starts in 6 30. our... 6.30. 6.30. And then it's up to up till nine for middle school sites and 6.30 to 7.30 for elementary. And then when then they're released to, you know, where they would normally go. So if it's the cafeteria or the classroom, that's where they go. Okay. And I know that in addition to that, at some of our schools there, they have the, um, like a foreign language program. Mm -hmm. That's part of the EDP where students, I know one or two elementary schools we have it this year. It's like a club. Right. Right? A and we language. have multiple clubs, and we also have offer tutoring in those clubs through Extended Day. Mm -hmm. That te teachers would come and tutor our students, um, pull them out, tutor them, give them a little extra enrichment, get them ready to go. But we do have a couple of foreign language clubs. For now, I will tell you that you and your staff, you guys have been doing such, such a great job. And I think it's such a benefit to all of our parents. Uh, here in Volusia County yes. to have this type of service at our schools. What else would you like, if you're a brand new parent to Volusia County, what would you like for them to know about the EDEP program? And I think you kind of said this, but this is right. in summary. Well, we'd want, we want the parents to know that, that we're here to support you. And uh, whatever you have going on, we're here to help, help your student become the best student they can be. And, and, and if they want to get a hold of you, Mr. Schwartz, how can they do that? They can email me. Uh, my, I'm on the, again, if you go to our Volusia County webpage, mm -hmm. the Extended Day webpage, my email address, my phone number is all up right there. They can reach out to me directly, and I always answer emails and phone calls within 24 hours. Okay. On behalf of the superintendent here in Volusia County and the entire cabinet, we want to, for when you get back with your staff, to let them know how proud we are that they have enlisted to do this work with our EDEP program before the Bell and EDEP pro program, but specifically the impact that they're making on 3,000 students and families here at Nuvolusia. So again, thank you for being here with us today. And again, thank you all. Thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to talking with you again on the next episode of Voices of Volusia. Have a great day, everyone.